Hi guys and welcome back to my channel. So today I'm going to show you how I made these drawer dividers to divide my makeup. So it's really simple and really easy. So let's go. So first thing you'll need are some poster boards, which I purchased from Kmart for $6 because they were the cheapest. You'll also need a measuring tape to measure out your drawers, as well as a ruler and pencil so you can make your different drawers. You'll also need a Stanley knife so you can cut out the poster boards. And it will be good if you had a cutting board as well, which I didn't, so I had to be really careful. And I'm also using PVC tape to tape these together instead of the hot glue gun because I am a hot mess when it comes to using that and also a pair of scissors to cut out the tape as well. Also, sorry about the lighting. I did have a case of insomnia and did this really late or early in the morning. Um, but if you are working with any sharp objects, I do recommend you do it when you're at a right state of mind in case you cut yourself or etc. So first thing you need to do is measure out your drawers and these are the standard Alex drawers from Ikea that I'm pretty sure most beauty gurus on YouTube use and the average Jane like me who just likes to hoard a lot of makeup because let's face it, they're the perfect depth to store makeup. Now that you've got your measurements and you've decided what different size trays you'll need for your drawers, you just then just got to measure it out on your poster board. And I'm going to start off by measuring the base. And with the base, I'm also going to take off about half a centimeter off my measurements as well, just to give me enough room to work around with. And also in case my trays go a little larger and so it fits perfectly in the drawers. Now I'm using a Stanley knife and a ruler to cut out the base of the dividers and I do strongly recommend you use a cutting board as well just so you're not damaging the floor, table, carpet, wherever you're using to cut out these dividers. I've also measured out the divider walls and I'm going to also cut them out as well so I have the base and the size to create my dividers. So what I've done is created one big tray with mini dividers in it as well as three long rectangle trays. So now that you've got the walls and the base all cut out, you're just going to go ahead and use the PVC tape to kind of stick everything together. I guess this is the part where other YouTubers will tell you to bring up the hot glue gun to stick the walls to the base. But because I totally suck at using hot glue guns, I'm going to use tape instead. So what you're going to do is just line the walls with the tape and stick it about halfway on the tape and then flip that the other way. So it pretty much covers the top line of the wall which you will see so it gives it more of a nicer cleaner finish and you're pretty much going to repeat that process to all the divider walls now to join everything together it's pretty much the same so I'm going to place half the tape on the base and the other half onto the wall once I know where I want that wall to sit and again repeat the process on all four sides and then using more tape I'm going to tape the corners together on the outside so it creates a tray. And you can pretty much leave it as that and it's perfectly fine but I'm also going to go ahead and stick the inside of the tray together as well just to cover all the corners to make it nice and secure. And voila, there you have it. Your tray is now ready to use. So all you need to do is just make as many or as little as you want with different shapes. So as I said, I created three long ones as well as one larger one, which I've just added an internal divider inside as well. Now it's time to put that all into your drawers. So the one thing I don't like about the Alex drawers is that it doesn't all pull out. So there is a little space at the back that is hard to reach, which is why I made three individual longer trays as well as one big one, because it means I can pull out the trays individually to grab all the things at the back that I can't reach. So now that everything's organized, I'm going to show you how I organize my makeup. So the first drawer, I've got my foundation as well as pressed powders. At the back, I've got my mascara as well as concealers and a tray for all my eyeliners. And I've got another tray that contains all the highlighters and bronzers as well as a tray full of blushes. And the second drawer, I've got all my 
primers and moisturizers at the back as well as eyeshadows and more eyeshadows because I don't use it as much and as I said I put the longer ones at the back so it's easy for me to pull out to view all the eyeshadows and in my last tray I've got all the unused lip products so I have the acrylic clear tray on my desk which I contain all my lip products but these are all like the lip balms and old lipsticks that I don't use as well as all my lip liners as well so I've created little slots for the lipsticks just so they have its own little home to look slightly neater as well and by all means you don't have to create these dividers but I think it's just more customized and more nicer looking to have them but if you have any old shoe boxes or sunglasses boxes or jewelry boxes you can also use them to divide your makeup as well so like I've done here with my nail polish and all my nail stuff I've just used an old sunglasses case box and a shoe box lid to hold all my stuff and I've also used the shoe box to keep all my palettes separate as well so I hope you found this helpful in any way and please give me a thumbs up and subscribe to watch more videos thanks for watching bye